So the fascination with marble came from being asked to uh, do mosaics for the church or being, um, I guess, it was suggested that I went to Ravenna to, um, to learn uh, ancient mosaic techniques and uh, I began doing that and um, found out that I quite enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed working with the ancient tools working with these beautiful materials, gold leaf, mosaics, uh, Venetian glass, um, di di different types of marble, uh, of all colors really, um, that are used in different parts of the mosaics. Um, I, white is something that I just love personally. Uh, it's not, I decided to uh, do a whole show on white. Um, and using various technique, ancient te techniques that I had learned from ancient um, Byzantine style mosaic to fresco to encaustics, um, entire printmaking, which I do in collaboration with Susie Raxlin. Um, I do. I still do a lot of oil paintings as well. So I work all the time in a way. Um, behind you. Can you tell us a little bit of what the materials and the piece besides marble and how long, for example, it took you to put it together? Well, it's, um, this was put on a piece of uh, car carry board and um, it was cemented and I like to work directly on this. So, um, it took how long it takes. Well, the, after cutting all these pieces to the desired size, uh, to apply them one by one is a very meditative process. Yes. Um, it took me months to do this, <laughs> of course, each piece being cut. You can see um, some of it is a white gold uh, uh, glass. Uh, wild gold leafed glass, tessera, some of it is um, Venetian glass, and there is uh, onyx, a lot of onyx. Uh, little bits and pieces here that were sieved by a friend of mine, wonderful lady, Vera, who decided to recycle them, so I used them all the way around. <laughs> um, yeah. Do you do you get all the materials here in Victoria, or you buy them from different parts of the world? The glass comes from Venice, from a factory in Venice called Orsoni, and uh, the marble comes from all over. So sometimes it comes from a large slab that is recut with um, a saw, and sometimes from smaller pieces that I recut with the ancient tools with the martella and the hardy. So, do you thinking on having bigger pieces than this one? Or one day you think like a whole wall or big pieces? Or? Yeah, there's... Um, I'm hoping to, uh, to do larger pieces because I finally, after 10 years of doing mosaic, fell in love with mosaic. <laughs> I did a lot of mosaic for a church in Victoria, St. Sophia, but in collaboration with the priest and other people in the church who helped. So we accomplished an entire dome. It's quite beautiful in a Byzantine style. And uh, we finished the apse at the back. So about 12 people at different times worked on these pieces. It was quite, uh, it's quite beautiful. <laughs> yeah.